Hello YouTube viewers, today I'm here to show you top 20 city apps and tweaks. These are not like usual city apps and tweaks where it's winter board and SB settings. These are ones that you probably will not know, but they are very helpful. All the apps and tweaks that you will hear will be in the description, so you have easy access. And if you can't understand one of them that I said, because I said it too quickly, you can just go to the description and see which one it is. They're also numbered in the same order I'm saying them. Alright, so let's get started with number one, homepage in Safari. What you're going to do is click Safari, click this little button right here, and you'll see set as home right here. And if you click set as home, whatever page you're on will be set as your home button in Safari. So every time you open it, that window will open up. It's very cool, and it's also like the laptop, MacBook Pro, which does that, and other Apple laptops. So number two is Bytefont. Bytefont is an app that appears when you download it from Cydia and it allows you to change the fonts on your iPod by just switching the font here that you download from Cydia. So the one I quickly downloaded, downloaded was Diego and I clicked it and it went here to current font and now if you look all the fonts are a little bit different like if you see the one right here it's kind of different and all the fonts in Safari are different as well. It's kind of hard to see here but they're different. And it's very cool and it's kind of like uh, Word on a laptop where you can switch the font. I like it because there's so many different fonts you can download from Cydia and it's just a cool app to have. So number three is Picture Me. Picture Me is when you go to the camera app you see a little arrow and you can set a timer and it just allows you it allows you to do different things on the camera like different options and time delays and rapid shot and amount of shots taken it's just really cool and makes your camera experience a lot better so number four is slide away slide away is the unlock screen it's a different slide away thing you can slide down to open it or you can slide up to see brightness and your home screen like home screen things like Safari and stuff so you can slide up to brightness or click any of these or you can click mail here and you can switch these two buttons up here by just going to the app and settings either one is switchable and that's that one number five is VMOJI4 Vimoji4 it's a cool keyboard icons that appear when you click the numbers when you're typing so so you go to type and you click the number you just hold down to the number and then it will appear here the different icons that are usually aren't there there's so many different ones and they're really cool to put in text a lot, a lot of people wonder how I do this or a lot of other people do it but that's how you do it it's really cool and allows you to show people something they haven't seen before so number six is app tag app tag is when you Hold down on an app, just hold it down, then double tap it, and you'll see the app tag here. Whatever you type in, so you type in app, just type that in, click OK, and that's what the tag will be. See, it's this app right here above it. You can change it, type in whatever you want just by holding it down and double tapping. So, number seven is multi cleaner. Multi cleaner is when you double tap the top bar and it cleans out your multitasking. So if you see there's nothing in my multitasking, but if I open up settings, close it, you'll see it's there. But if you just double tap this, all everything you're multitasking is gone. It's a quick thing to do, just a quick double tap and everything's gone. It just makes your experience a lot faster. Number eight is update hider. Update hider is in the app store. You can anytime there's an update you can just go to it and swipe away and just get rid of it if you don't want it it's cool because a lot of the times there's an update you don't want to have but next update there is you can always get that one when it comes up because it will appear again it's not going to be permanently gone but it just allows you to get rid of it for a short amount of time it's pretty cool I like that one a lot I have that on all my Apple devices so number nine number nine is Safari Download Manager 
you will need another app from Cydia called iFile to do this but that's just easy to get if you have a source for Cydia what you do is you can go to any page and download like an mp3 or any like song or download from Safari like by just simply clicking download and it'll go to your app that I said to download before called iFile which is right here it's cool because you usually can't do that you can only do that on laptops or some type of stuff like that and it just allows you to give you more options of things you can do on your iPod number 10 is animator animator is um, something that is activated in settings and it just makes all your apps animated you will need to respring after you do this but it's quick and it just makes your apps animated and more lively so number 11 is icon renamer and it just allows you to rename the apps by holding it down double tapping and then it's right here you can just rename it it says settings but say I make it settings 1 and you click apply the name of it down there is settings 1 you just change the name of the app blow the app it's cool like if you don't want somebody to know the name of the app or you just want to change it to make it look cooler whatever you want it's, it's a cool app to have nice tweak um, and number 12 number 12 is page pusher page pusher is whenever you turn a page it makes it seem like an actual page like you'll see it scroll up I'll show you that again it just rolls up like a page in a notebook or something it's cool interesting something to change what you usually see and number 13 number 13 is really interesting and helpful if you're like a student and you're looking for stuff in a document or whatever you just go to say the Apple website and you click the little book down there and click find in page whatever you type in say I type in Apple and click OK it will say how many times it's found on the page it says 10 matches and it will locate them and highlight them in yellow like you, see, you can see it's highlighted in yellow there and a couple times down here just shows you where it is there so it just helps you find a word in whatever page or document you're on the next one is Android Loader Android Loader is what you see down here instead of a dock it's like an Android and it comes up and shows you all your apps so that's easy quick and if you want to make it seem like an Android because you like that a lot it allows you to do that it's just a cool thing you could do number 15 video lock video lock is when you're watching a video you can still listen to it when you lock your screen so say you watch a video you can see that and you can still be hearing the noise from it when you lock it it's really cool just if you want to listen to music or watch videos and hear the sound you can do that number um, 16 app size what you're gonna do is um, hold down the home button and tap an icon and you can it tells you stuff about it like it says uh, the name game center 2 megabytes and the date you installed it just tells you a little bit about your apps if you didn't know it next one number 17 is Wi-Fi booster Wi-Fi booster just gives you a wider range of how far your Wi-Fi can reach it's like say you're too far away from uh, Wi-Fi and you can't it won't signal it this will allow you to signal it from a farther distance number 18 is iconoclasm that is where it's different layouts on your iPod like where I have five across five icons in a row it just allows it to be a lot more different and you can put more uh, apps on a page or just whatever layout you want you can activate it in settings just, just find it and then click it and then change whatever you want. It's right here. Click it and there's so many different layouts. If you just look at all these different layouts, five by five, five rows, um, three by three, whatever. Next one is sleep effects and you can change the way it sleeps by just, when you click the sleep button. It's just different every time you activate this in settings. So whatever you want, see sleep FX. Um, say I want, uh, let's see, like a zoom. You do that, go back, do it, and then it should just zoom. And 
it's just a different way f to make your lock screen appear next one is grid lock grid lock is you can place an app anywhere on the screen as long as it's like in a row so I can put that there just make a I can do whatever I want just like put them around like this I just made a circle or a square a square and then and you just have them anywhere you want like I can just put this one randomly down here whatever put this one over here it's kinda cool just like do what you want nice little tweak to have and that's it for today I hope you enjoyed the tweaks and please subscribe by clicking the subscribe button right up here and also if you want to check out our new website that we created um, which has all of our videos and uh, things about us and iOS 5 downloads some nice betas here and you can also get your you did activated some contact info and some questions you have for us just click here so just make sure to subscribe right here and check out our website thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the tweaks